What is good friends, we're here to show on live using Cory's team that he qualified um, for ulti with a Mega Electric looks actually a bit annoying. So this is not the, um, I don't have all the sets exact, like Cory has them obviously. I have the, for the Hydreigon I made, um, I read on the forums, 48 HP investment after rock always lets you lift two specs hydro pumps from Ash Greninja before it's in before it gets the battle bond form. So that's why I have 48 HP on Hydreigon. Um, then I have speed to outspeed Adam and Zygarde. You might want some more speed. I don't know. That's just what I have. And then we have almost max special attack modest. Uh, so let's do that. I just put the standard max defensive spread um, to help with Scizor, Tapu Lele, all that goodness. The slow was mixed defensive. Um, so I, I saw someone post that team somewhere and I picked that up and put it in my build and then I kept editing the sets how I like them. The only set I didn't edit was the Slowbro one. Um, on Excadrill I should probably make this more spadef. Like I have some Fizzdev, this is a spread that I got from my buddy T. Medichim I just made it max speed jolly which I think is needed because opposing Zard, like Zard White this kind of destroys this team, you have no Scarfer. And yeah, like, I mean, we can kind of play around, pivot around it, but it like, that way destroys if it hits Focus Blast versus Hydra. So we need that uh, max speed Medichem to win the tie at least. As this guy is gonna time out, um, no problem. We're gonna just grab another game. We got this nice high dragon background here. I uh, let it a little bit off screen. So we don't face complete garbage, but we still face complete garbage anyway, because ulti is over and the ladder just isn't that tryhard anymore I guess which is kind of cool to see fun stuff with these two like oh I lost to a Pidgeot when I used this team once oh not him <laughs> he's, he's scary but a Slowbro has some spadef investment I don't know what it's for exactly that's the spread that I got when I snatched this team from someone who posted it but yeah I'll usually just leave a Medicham here especially at 2 a.m. night now just want to leave with Medi and play it safe uh, he could be helmet and just annoy me, yeah, really, really annoying. <laughs> but Pidgeot is, is a threat, so now I have information, I know that he's Rocky Helmet. And I really like the double hazard removal of Torn, uh, Defog plus Rapid Spin. I think Knockoff is really fine here, actually. Getting rid of Pex lefties. Uh, I mean Black Sludge, same thing. Now, I obviously don't want to let this get toxic, for because the Cartana is there. Hmm. I don't really have a switch in honestly, so I'll just defog. Like I have to let this get toxic. Cause if I go drill, like I could have gone drill there obviously, but if he scalded, I don't want my drill to get burned, obviously, huh? And I also don't want my hydrating to get toxic, so like <clears throat> basically what I'm gonna do is force him to go for recover here. Confusion obviously helps. And then I can go into Magic Gem here predicting uh recover. Yeah, exactly. And now we can <clears throat> Well, he might just go into hip on honestly, but I really want to high jump kick here. I'm just gonna Zen headbutt honestly. Like, yes, he goes hip on Okay, I'm gonna get chipped down, but um, high jump kick might actually kill Zen. The third. Never mind. I don't think high jump. Well, it has quite a power difference, so it might kill. I haven't uh, used calcs in my video, like in my lives, for a while, so I'm gonna do that. Uh, Zen 6, 36 to 42. Yeah, high jump kick does a lot more. So high jump kick is going to send this boy packing as long as we connect. I mean, it obviously has more base power, but I wasn't sure if it would kill. So gonna make this video. I don't know, 30 to 40 minutes, and we miss amazing start to the video. Uh, Medicham that kills his entire team is now dead to Sandstream. Good God. I think I can go. Hmm. This puts me in a shitty spot. Like, what is this garbage? I can go Torn and knock off. I can go Hydreigon and Z-Move. Uh, well, I think Dark Pulse is the play just in case he slacks off. Um, if he slacks off scouting for the Z-Move, if he's mixed defensive at Powder, he might be able to barely lift the Z-Move and slack it off. So hard Dark Pulse first is the play. Ah, uh, losing Medicham's Fake Out is annoying. I need Medicham's Fake Out. Oh, that did absolutely nothing. So he's that mixed defensive at Powder. Um, Dark Pulse did 36. I obviously, I have custom set in, but I think I still have it makes special attack. I took out some special attacks, so 377 now. So I got an absolute mineral with that Dark Pulse, so how much does Z move to? 
Well, unless he has a different Hippowdon spread, but I assume he has that spread. Zemo sends this boy packing, so goodbye Hippowdon. Uh, what's it called? Hmm. I don't know if I can beat the Pidgeot. <laughs> That's gonna be a pain to deal with, because it has Heatwave for my Steel types. Hurricane for my for the rest of my team. If I had like I need Rock Thub and I uh, would love to keep Fake Out from Medicham for the Pidgeot. So <clears throat> Oh this boy's faster than the other Zygarde. I was gonna say why is he faster than me? But yeah, this is the other Zygarde dog form. I can just go slow bro here. Not sure why he doubled into Jirachi. I also considered staying in, but there's no point throwing my dragon out. Uh well this if this is Scarf Trick Jirachi, this is going to be bad. <laughs> but I think I'll just Scald here. And I'm going to protect, yeah. I'm going to protect because this covers him U-turning. And this covers him tricking, right? Just playing safe. I'm just going to Scald here. Uh, trying to get a burn on Tox effects. If I had Psychic, I would maybe click it here, but I don't have it. He wishes, so we're just going to try to burn. <clears throat> get it cool. But this is a pain. Um... <laughs> Well, the only real problem, the only real issue is the Pidgeot, and if my Slowbro gets status, the Zygarde can become a problem. Um, yeah, you can say I should not have stayed with Medicham, but it did kill, so like, I feel like, like I'm not always gonna play risk-free on low ladder, like, High Jump Kick is there, like, I have it for a reason, I wanna click it, and wanna kill something. Hard into Katana, which is super risky in a bad play and he gets burned in forfeits that's a play you should never make hard katana on scald <clears throat> but yeah cool this guy has somewhat of a more try hard re team standard team oh, i forgot to change up the music i guess we'll just keep going with this music uh the anti leads quite obvious unfortunately i don't have bullet punch i mean bullet punch is kind of only for the anti i don't like it that much otherwise i can lead with uh, excadrill Slowbro or Celestila? I think Slowbro is fine here. Hmm. Well, now I actually like Celestila a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Now let me leave with Excadrill. I need to get my rocks up as soon as possible for that Volcarona. <laughs> so if he leads the ANC, um yes, I can just get my rocks up, but if he stays in the Earth Power, that would be bad for me. I obviously got Mold Breaker, so uh, if he stays in, that doesn't matter to me because uh, Mold Breaker goes through Magic Bounce and I can just Toxic the Zap here. Uh, heatwave is gonna hurt. Don't burn me, please. Uh, that's like the least. Like I cannot afford to get burned. Now he's most likely gonna defog here, but I still don't want to stay in and take another heatwave and let this get low. I think I'll just go into my dragon. My dragon is really cool to deal with Zapdos, and uh, there was other months to that it can deal with. And we can just fire off uh, Flash Can here. I think uh, he might go in the Ferrothorn. I probably have a double that covers the anti and Ferrothorn. Celestila, I guess. Now I'll flash can. I have a feeling he's going DNC, and I did know Bob. I mean, I have to make some plays at least, right? I cannot always play safe. I think I've been playing quite safe in my last video. Um, I mean, there was no drawback. If he stayed in, the best he could have done to me was like toxic, random toxic or HPIs, I guess. And no rock sub means his Volk is at full. So you can Quivalence here, and my Darkinium wouldn't do much. Um, hmm. I don't really know if I can beat this at all, but I'm gonna go for the. Darkinium anyway. I hope he doesn't have Roost. If he's bulky Roost, I just lose to this like straight up. I probably should have um did I outspeed the Zapdos. I should have just kept cl kept clicking rocks with my Excadrill after I toxic the Zapdos. But yeah, I didn't. I didn't. Hmm. So he's gonna <clears throat> bug buzz here. What do I do I need this for anything? I need this for a potential Ash Greninja, so I'm not gonna sack it. Um I can sack my Excadrill. I don't think my Excadrill is needed. Mm -mm. Like, yeah, this is really fucking bad. But I could not afford to sack my Hydreigon. I don't think I could have. Like, I just lose to Ash Ninja if I sack Hydreigon. So, he Giga Drains, which is a misplay, and lets me weaken the Volk. Um, I, Excadrill still hits quite hard, even without attack investment. Because it has really good, um, a really good attack stat. Now I can just fake out here with my Medicham. Whew. Don't, hopefully I don't get burned. But that was scary. Mm. If he didn't... Oh, he gets the burn. I mean, that's fine. I'm just happy that I didn't get 6 out by this. <laughs> if he didn't misplay, uh, I don't know why he quivered again. He would have been out of fake out range and I would have been screwed. 
The only other play I could have made was like I could have gone torn maybe instead of dark seeing with my Hydra, but like um, yeah, I'm gonna go Tony to scout the set because Torn can live any one hit from Ash Ninja and and if it's Ice Beam Protein, I would have been fine in that scenario. And even if it's Ice Beam Protein, unless it's like my special attack, I think I can live it anyway because I'm max HP. No, a U-turn here, and he's most likely gonna Fusion Bolt. I don't have a Ground type anymore. I'm thinking about sacking the Medicham. Hmm. Really not sure. I think I'll go hard and Medicham and yeah, I know I can live a fusion bolt. Now he should just go zap here. But I click high jump kick anyway if he in case he stays in. And if he goes zap to uh, shoutouts to burn nerf, I'm still around for a little bit. I can still keep this as fodder and go into high dragon on the zap dose as he comes out and we miss again. Amazing game. <laughs> Pokemon doesn't like me today. Flam buddy burn it to high jump kick misses. Uh, we can still win, but the Kirim is a huge problem. Uh, da -da -da -da. Zapdos being toxic is so great um, for Torn, especially if we can get knock, knock the lefties. Um, but I think I'll just click Dark Pulse now. <clears throat> we know the Greninja has Ash and he showed U-Turn, so it's unlikely that he will have Ice Beam. So my Hydreigon should be able to deal with the Greninja, which is really good for me. Uh, I don't know why I said that's so weird. Nice classic Darko English at 2.30 a.m. Nice not knowing how to talk Darko live. But I feel like he kind of... I guess he can go hard cure him if he wants to risk it for no reason, but he probably has to sack something. Like, I don't think he will go hard cure him. Uh, he might sack this or the Pharaoh Thorn. If the Pharaoh is Spadef, it actually annoys me because I already used my Z move. Uh, like, if it's Spadef left this Pharaoh with Tech Leech Seed, that could fuck me up. <clears throat> but yeah. I could have probably asked Cory for this exact team, but he might have given it to me. I don't know, I didn't ask. But I'm pretty sure I'm like relatively close to the spreads. Like obviously not exact, but relatively close. And uh, here, I know he's going to U-turn. I can just go to my slow bro stealer. Hmm. What do I go to here? I can roost. I think roost is a play because he's just going to U-turn. What else is he going to do? Ice beam? No, he doesn't have ice beam. I don't think he has spikes. I think if you're running U-turn, you're running dark pulse, water shrink, and hyro or surf. Usually Hydro for the extra power. Some people run Surf because they don't want to miss, but I don't think you run Ice Beam on this. And even if you do, you should be able to eat it and roost. And I just don't... Hmm. I mean, I could go slow. Actually, Sober here is risky in case he makes a random Dark Pulse play. I could go Hydra. Uh, Tornade is here. As it should be able to live any hit and get Helmet if he U-turns, but... Tornade is the, that's the cure him in. And my Slowbro is not max defense. If my Slowbro was max defense... I would just throw it into the Kyurem and maybe potentially even wall the Kyurem, but it's mixed defensive. So that doesn't work like that. And if I go Steeler, which is another potential play here. <clears throat> it's also kind of iffy, like... I don't want to have months like... Like, especially Slowbro, it can be scary versus Kyurem if he has sub. Because Slowbro doesn't have a move to break the sub. Uh, so I don't want to go to that. The other ones I can probably go to, but yeah, this guy's taking forever. Anything else I can talk about? <laughs> I guess he realized he can't touch me. <laughs> I had it pause for a second there. I was thinking about changing the music, but I like this song so much. I'm just going to keep going with it for a little bit more. Yeah, like he brought this in on me and realized he can't touch me, I guess. <laughs> and I assume he's going to U-turn out or he... Dance is going to U-turn out of the game because he only has 10 seconds left. I guess he's just going to time out. Not sure why like that. Like, I would have liked to see how that would have played out, but it's fine. We take those points to the bank. Who is this? Vic Vic? Dude, I ladded up off screen so I don't face this. What is this? Who bad? Whom? Um, but yeah, it's fine. This boy is a bit annoying. Ah, we got Steela on deck, it's fine. If it's Bandit Victini, that's a threat for sure. But we will maneuver around Bandit Victini. Like, you already know we will go... Um, the exact 20 bolt strikes, I'm gonna go drill. I'll just watch. Just kidding. We will see, we will see. Um, looking at his team. At first, it's obviously really weird. Could be Flame or AV Kong. I don't know what people would use on this. Otherwise, 
Uh, flame up is decent because burn got nerfed, but it's still not that great because you don't have another item. This is just command. It gets like plus two after command. This is ability, but I think Celestealer walls it quite easy. If I'm not mistaken, good god. I, dude, did you guys hear how shook I just got? I looked at my mic and there's like some nasty bug. It's like, it's like so fucking big. It's like disgusting. <laughs> It's like 2.30 a.m. and I have my window open, right? So nasty bugs get in my room. Because <laughs> otherwise if I don't have my window open, it's way too... F Dude, get this boy off my screen. <laughs> life, 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 Doc Rich being shook as fuck. This guy, this guy is like, um, walking on my mic. Holy shit. <laughs> so I, I hope my audio is still fine because I'm a bit far, more far away from the mic now. Then this guy is scaring me as shit. I'm like chilling there, like, and I look to my mic and then all of a sudden I see this disgusting, this... Um, if he's still in here after the video is over, I might take a picture of this nasty bug. He just rock blasts, he's probably King's Rock and he flinches me exactly. Um, his play made no sense, but he got rewarded anyway, I'll just protect here. Um, if he wants to play this game, like his play didn't make any sense, but he got lucky already, so I'm just gonna, um, yeah. Try to get a leech off. Dude, what is this? Like, he, what he should be doing is go Victini on my protect. Also, um... Victini could be Z or Scarf. You don't own low ladder. Like it could be either Scarf, Victini or Scarf Superior. Or in general, not even only on low ladder. I think I'll just heavy slam. Z, um, actually, I should have seen that one coming because you already revealed Encore. I'm not sure why I didn't do anything about that, honestly. Like, he showed Encore when I switched out. But yeah, whatever. Deck, I can't concentrate with this nasty bug. Um, like I said, if he's still here. Damn, dude, he's so green and what? I don't know if it bug is even the correct term for this boy. But a slower should be really fine for this. Um, because if he's Z-move... Unless he has Energy Ball, I wall this, I think. I can protect once and this death investment is gonna come in handy. Charge Beam. Dude, this is really bad for me. Charge... It's like the one set that beats me. Dude, what do I even do first? I mean, if he doesn't have Focus Blast, my High Dragon walls it. Charge Beam, Fire Move, and Psychic Move. So I think High Dragon should wall it. Um, I'm gonna assume that he that High Dragon walls it, right? If he has Focus Blast, I'm obviously screwed. Oh, he gets a boost. If he's Focus Blast, I'm in a really bad spot here. Huh. Yeah, he just... Oh, that is way too much. I should have da Dark Seed. I forgot he's a plus... Yeah, he's a plus two. I don't know why I didn't Dark Seed. I thought I would eat that up with... Um, not with ease, but I thought I would eat it up. Well, time to sack. How do I even revenge this? Why did I not go for the Z-move? That was such a fat misplay. Like, this video was okay, but this bug makes it impossible for me to focus. This is not- this, it's not even fun. <laughs> Who is this boy on my- like, Charge Beam is gonna destroy my slow bro. Like, I don't have- If I went for the Z-move, I would've been fine, but now I'm fucked. Like, I can't do anything. What the fuck, dude? I lose. <laughs> I can't do anything. <laughs> Like, legit, I'm not even trolling. I, I had to Dark Sea, and then I would have been fine, but... Dude, what was what was I thinking when I didn't click Dark Sea? I wanted to keep it, but for what? Oh, he, he gets another boost. I was just gonna say, if he doesn't get another boost, I'm fine, but he gets another boost. <laughs> um, now, I think I have to sack something here. <clears throat> Question is, what do we sack? Excadrill, I think, might be the sack. Yeah, yeah, Excadrill. I don't think he's needed to win the game, but like, this disgusting bug better get off my screen or... Um, yeah, we can just fake out here. But good god. <laughs> Man. I wonder how you even call this guy. Like... I can't think about his correct term. It's not a bug, it's not a spider, it's like a mix between those, like what the f- but anyway, um, this could be Glare Leaf Storm. I think Torn or St <laughs> I think Celis is the play because I don't want my Steeler to get glared. I, I mean, <laughs> dude, I'm fucking up now. I meant Torn is the play, not Celis, because I don't want my Celis Steeler to get glared. And I still said Celis is the play. I'm mixing up the, the words. I don't want my Steeler to get glared because then the Excadrill or the Sin. The Mincino or whatever can destroy me. Sincino, yeah. So we're gonna scout for... Um, 
Yeah, we're gonna scout for choice scarf uh, rock slide here. Yeah, I think Driller is actually his scarf. Victini was the yeah yeah. Driller is his scarf. So we got a free as leech here. I just want to keep my Celestia as healthy as possible. It pretty much beats his entire team. Um, I just gotta be careful that I don't let it get knocked off by Conk, and I should be fine. And heavy slam this bad boy here. <clears throat> Dude, this bug is so dangerous and he's like walking around like <clears throat> Oh, what the fuck? I don't know if this kills. I'm just gonna do it anyway like No, I'm heavy slamming in case he has calm mind. Oh I dodged lucky and bad. <laughs> I mean, I still would have gotten I Would have still been quite healthy and I can protect on the next one that comes out uh, he could be bulk up Conkelder though, and I have a defense boost, so I don't have a reason to like not leech seed. Like I said, I didn't want to let this get knocked, but at this point, I have a defense boost and I'm chilling. And he has like nothing left. Um, and since Sinu dies and gives me another defense boost, and the game ends, so I'm pretty sure. Yeah, exactly. So, like I said, I didn't want to let this get knocked, but <clears throat> I don't even have to worry about that anymore. Um, just to play it extra safe, I'm gonna get my health back. But yeah, this guy's like walking around. Like sometimes I can see this buck spider, whatever. Sometimes I can. But yeah, GG pal, we're gonna grab another one. Are you gonna forfeit, or are you just gonna say GG and let me wait five minutes? Well, in that case, I will pause it. No, nope, forfeit's cool. I open my door now in hopes that this nasty buck is gonna leave my room. But yeah. We got another match right here. Um, what was I gonna say? The Zard is actually a huge problem for me, but I, the good thing is if he mega here, I get to see if he's X or Y. But he goes hard on the T-Tar, which I don't understand that play. If he's Scarf, I don't think he can Oko me, so I just high jump kick. Well, I have already missed two high jump kicks, so if there's any justice, I hit this. <laughs> What is this game, dude? I'm, I'm gonna put some target practice garbage in the thumbnail because my Medicham is not well trained. Like, what is my Medicham even doing? Hello? Dude, I'm gonna kick again. I'm gonna keep kicking till you hit one. You hit one right now. Kick him in the face in case he goes under the T down and then headbutt and he's scarfed her. Kicked and he hit finally. You just gotta keep kicking, eventually he's gonna hit. Um, Is he Scarf Curum? Or Sash? Or what? Hello? I don't know, I'm gonna scarf for scarf, but like, whomst. So, if he's not scarf, he's gonna fusion bolt, right? <clears throat> Which means I will go into my Excadrill here. Okay, I don't know why Skalisco was to play for him. Um, High Dragon is my play here, unless he has Toxic, I wall this, and I can't get knocked because I'm Zemo, who just really fire. Uh, so what he can do here is, is like he could Toxic, he could Ice Fang, like those are potential options, or he could go Tita. Um, I don't really have a play that covers everything, I kind of just want to click my Z-move to kill this. Um, I think Celis... <clears throat> Celis is a good play, but if he goes... Like Celis Dealer lets the Zard in, which is why I don't want to bring it out. And he knocks, okay. So he makes the play that makes no sense and gets rewarded. Like he didn't know I get... he didn't know the team, okay. I, I was assuming he knows the team because his team was spammed on the ladder. And now I lose my lefties and he's taunt. And basically my high dragon walls him, but I didn't know if my high dragon walls him, so I scouted for toxic. And this guy made the play that made no sense and got rewarded. And now <clears throat> this is really bad. And I'm just gonna click my Dark Z. And if he focus blasts and kills me, oh he roosts. Why? Um, Dark Z might actually not kill because that's why he's good spadef, but it should do like 90 at least. 83. Whoops, that did nothing. So, <clears throat> like I'm tempted to Earth Power, right, on the Roost. I'm tempted to Earth Power on the Roost. Oh no, I should have Dark Pift. <laughs> no, <laughs> I thought he would Roost and he forfeited. Why did he forfeit? Like, hello? I definitely misplayed there, right there. I misplayed right there, but this guy said, ah, we don't care, you can have the win. Like, after? I Earth Powered, right? I off powered into him and I didn't touch him and he still forfeited for no reason. So Clef plus Mew, so he's making sure not a Medicham is well trained and hits hits high jump kicks. 
This guy is making sure that my Medichim is not doing any work with the double Medichim counter slash check. Um, Hydreigon is amazing in this match. I just have to be careful around T-Char. And Pex is annoying, toxicing me potentially. Tornadus is super hard as a lead here because it can knock off everything. The, uh, I have to U-turn here though because I have to scout for a potential Z-move Landris. Um, I'm thinking he's probably Scarf Landris and I know that I can live with Stone Edge because I'm max HP exactly. And this gives me momentum. I can go... If he didn't have these two months, I could just go Medi and High Jump because he's locked into Edge. Um, but what I can do here is go to Excadrill and get out my rocks early in the game. I hope that Clef is his rocker, which means I would be able to keep rocks off in this game quite easy. Um, yeah, it's probably rocks Clef and spikes Pharaoh is what I'm thinking. And the Mew could be Z move, which is actually okay as long as I keep my Celestealer healthy. He goes to this on Drill, which makes no sense. He can level hit, obviously, but like that play was really risky, and I'm not a fan of that play. Yeah, this team struggles switching into packs, so I might hmm, do it off quick. I don't, I don't. I go torn here because he's gonna scald or toxic spike, a yeah, toxic spike, and that hits two of my Pokemon, which is obviously annoying, but it's not the end of the world. I can defog or spin. I have spin, and my drill is not affected by them. So I think I'm fine and I'll U-turn here. I assume he only has Scald. <clears throat> so he probably... Yeah, I'm... I could have... Why, can, why am I not talking correct? I could have gone Slowbro there to only get Toxic by one layer. I mean Poison by one layer, whatever how you call it. But hmm, I'm assuming it's Haze and not Toxic, right? I know that there's a team that low Pony kicks me that has Toxic Spikes, Toxic Skull and Recover and no Haze. But I don't think this guy is running that. So what I'm gonna do is Earth Power one once to just to see how this guy reacts. If he has Toxic, that would be really bad. So he just recovers. Um, basically, this allows me to fish for the death drop for a little bit. I mean, if he burnt me, that would have been a little bit annoying, but not the end of the world. And uh, Landris <clears throat> just lets me go into Celesteela. because um, I don't think he has knockoff, and even if he has it, he's not going for it. He's going for U-turn. I could have like predicted them to go Landris and just Dark Pulsed or even Dark Seed, Dark Seed right there. Um, I just off pulled though because I don't want to let the Tita in for free. Um, Tita is a bit annoying. <clears throat> so now, what does he even go to? This one is like he has to go Pex or he goes Clef, which makes no sense. Uh, I guess he could potentially knock off. If he knocks me into he uh, Heavy Slam, he knocks me. I don't like that, so I think I go Drill instead. And now I just Rapid Spin. He rocks and he gives me his Hazard. Uh, there was a misplay on his part. I don't really know why he did that, but I'm not that high on the ladder, so I'm not gonna question it. Um, I just go Steela on this always. Like this guy is completely screwed. Um, <clears throat> I have a free leech seed here. The best, like the only thing he can go to is like Pharaoh or Clef to prevent the leech seed. But I assume he's gonna go Pex. And I just want my Celis healthy. Okay, he goes this. Um, I guess he got me there. Maybe I should have flamethrower trying to get it can also try to potentially get a burn on the packs. Um I don't want to protect on a spike here. I'm just gonna go torn. Yeah, I'm just gonna go torn. You turn out. If he's banded, I think I'm dead. So a potential play here is Kalk. Tornadus. Custom sp set. Um because we got defense investment on this tornadoes versus banded tar. Um Crunch is basically pursued as a roll in his favor. Thing is, he could also edge, but I think he's gonna pursue. This tornado is important. Yeah, I think he's gonna pursue, and I'm gonna knock off, predicting him to go for pursuit. Um, also, knocking off the choice band, and I read him like a book. Get her rocky helmet on him, and now that he lost his choice band, does pursuit still kill me? I think pursuit still kills me, but at least I took the band off of him. Um, so that's something. Um. Yeah, now... I mean, yeah, he's still gonna pursue me if he has a brain, but in case he doesn't... We're gonna U-turn out into our Excadrill. No. Yeah, Excadrill. He does pursue me. I could've hurricane predicting that. I would've gotten more damage. I actually could've beaten this one we won if I came. Um, I don't know why this guy said ha 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 ha. Like, as if he like made some goat play. A pursuit was literally... F literally, pursuit was free for him. And he's... Acting okay, he's just happy, I guess. Um, <clears throat> yeah, 
trapping is broken is all I'm saying. Let me say bust. Um But yeah like pursuit. It's really cool to support like certain mods that he doesn't have. Like I don't know <laughs> what is what is Tita supposed to trap on this guy's team for the Mew. Does Tita trap anything that annoys Mew? I guess if he's focused by psychic nasty plot rock polish uh, or even fire blast, his Mew gets walled by Lattice, so I guess that in that case Tita is cool, okay. Um yeah I'll hide Dragon here and just I think Flash can honestly. Flash can should kill the tar and uh, Flash can is better than Elf Paw because it hits the incoming landers. Oh, but he goes back switch. I didn't think he would. Um, that's honestly fine with me. <clears throat> as long like he doesn't seem to have toxic. I just dark pulls now though because earlier he went landers on my Elf Paw. And I just gotta get them and get him get him in range for my Z move. <clears throat> like it's not a big deal. Oh yeah, I lost my Thorn, which is annoying. Um, <clears throat> so Dark Pulse did 29 to tox the packs. Um, nice technical difficulties here, being bad at culking. Let me just say the packs, right? I don't have max special attack. How much special attack? Two, 377, okay. So Elf Pulse, Dark Pulse did 29, okay, okay. So that means, how much does Z-Move do? Z move does not kill. Good God, Z move does nothing. So we're gonna fish for a drop here. We're gonna dark pulse because it covers the land and can potentially flinch him. I think he's just gonna stay in though. Get a crit, cool. And off power here, just trying to get the drop. Mm -mm -mm. And we get the drop, cool. So what I can do here is, if I'm him, I would probably just sack the Tita, right? I think I'm just gonna click dark pulse. He goes in a clef. Mm, okay. I actually should have flash there because I got the drop. Mm, that was my bad. I don't like his play, but yeah, this is a free Excadrill. He doesn't really have a great double to punish this. And just rapid spin. Well, T Spike still hits two months, so this is worth it, yeah. Oh, uh, he does have Flamethrower, but we are Spadeftral. We eat that. And he's gonna U turn here. I could flex and just off quick, but there's no point because I'm at minus one. So what I'll do is just go sell us here. <clears throat> that does nothing, literally nothing. Leftovers heals more than that did, I think. <laughs> Four percent, my. So this Mew, I don't care if he's Willow Wisp Mew, but I don't want to let him set up for free. So I'm definitely gonna attack this. Uh, I probably have to spam Heavy Slam. I'm gonna calc if. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. Munium Z. Um, yeah, Heavy Slam destroys this. He's Fire Blast. Um, yes, that was quite obvious because he's he brought it in on me. But I didn't want to let him nasty plot for free. Um, if he's Fire Blast, if he's three attacks with with um, Aura Sphere or Focus Blast, then my High Dragon doesn't wall him. But if he's not, if he's not, I am fighting move High Dragon walls. So let me. Th I think Slowbro also walls. Hmm. I think I go Slowbro here and Scald. And, oh. well, I gotta be a bit careful because if he nasty plots into Z moves, actually, I don't think that would kill me. And I also have protect, and I can fish here. Don't get the burn. Um, damn, I gotta find something funny with target practice to put in the thumbnail because my management is fucking failing today. Um, that was only in the beginning, it's better trained now. I think I wanna go hard medi, actually. <laughs> hard medi is like a bad play. Like, I don't think he's gonna knock. Just because hard manage him is an option. So now. <clears throat> now I go hard manage him. Predicting a spike or a switch. Honestly. He, yeah, now he knocks. Pretty much. I figured he wouldn't power up Jaro. That's why I brought this in. Ah, high jump kick here. Um, I could double on. No, actually, the Mew. At first, I said this guy has all the counters for this. Um, but he actually doesn't have counters for this because his Mew is. Offensive and not defensive. And his clef, if I zen, that would have gone to a KO. Um, I can zen here, but that's a bad play in case he moonblasts. And zen is a. I think. I think zen doesn't kill actually. Might be a roll. I don't kick that 42. I mean, if this roll is in my favor, I might go for it, but I feel like it, I shouldn't. Uh, high jump kick did 42. So zen is a roll in his favor that I'm not willing to risk. Instead. 
instead I'm just gonna go into my Excadrill and yeah, in case he Moonblasts. Uh, what I can do here is click Earthquake. Like I know he has a Landorus. Landorus is the only one that can be immune to Earthquake and come in. And Landorus is not a big threat to me at all and it takes rocks if it comes in. So I think Earthquake is always to play in case he goes to something that's not Landorus. Or also if he wants to stay in and yeah, unfortunately I don't have Iron Head. Now I'm pretty sure he's gonna go into Landorus. I want to predict the land on Toxic here, but it's unnecessary risky. I'm going to do it anyway just to show this guy that I'm in his hat. Like, I didn't have to do that. And it could have backfired, but I just knew he would do that and I just had to do it. I don't know. Um, I actually can go slow bro for free because I have Protect for... Actually, the tar is not even banned anymore and he just goes for that. Nonsense play. And just really skull here as he goes Ferrothorn. Can we get a burn today? We cannot get a burn in this house. Um, <clears throat> I think I'll go High Dragon because I don't want anything to get knocked. Pretty sure I already mentioned it, but High Dragon being immu immune to spikes is amazing because it lets it check Ash Greninja better. But like I said, the HP investment I have lets me lift Specs Hydro Pump after Rocks guaranteed as long as my High Dragon is at full when I switch it in. Um, you guys can experiment, say, however you say that. You can mess around with the spread a bit. I think it can still be optimized. Especially on the drill. I don't know the spread at all. I just took a spread my friend gave me. Um, but yeah, what was I going to do now? <clears throat> I got Darkseid here. No, I don't like being leeched. I just go Cellus here. And I look like a complete Dawn Father. So I have the option to go into my Excadrill here. I can also just Heavy Slam or Protect. I think I like Excadrill a bit better. Mm -hmm. I could have Heavy Slammed as well, get my Cellus healthy, but it do not matter, it do not matter. <laughs> Honestly, I shouldn't. I don't want to go into... Um he dies to rocks, that doesn't matter to me. I didn't want to go into Slowbro because even if I have Protect to Scout, um, I would have to calc how much Pursuit does because he's not choice locked anymore. So even if I tacked on a Crunch and he can still suit me next turn if he wants to flex. Since I'm not max defense Slowbro, like not mixed, like I'm more mixed defensive, more Spadev. So I didn't want to risk that basically. Um, hmm. But I think Slowbro should be able to deal with this new. They have the nasty plot. I'm tempted to go for Protect. But just in case he nasty plots again, yeah, I have no reason to protect, but he goes for Z-move. And I knew I could eat it up. Um, Z-move would have gone through protect anyway. If I got the burn it, it would have been nice. I can just protect, I can stall out the f the, mist, the the psychic terrain turns. And <clears throat> this obviously kills me because it's... Do I need no sellers? Hmm. I feel like I don't need my Steela and this is... Do I need my Hydreigon? Yeah, Hydreigon rapes him, I'm not sacking that. It's between sacking Excar or sacking Steela, I think, or sacking Slowbro. Um, I think I'm going Excar because he can live a hit, unless he Fire Blasts. Yeah, and that way we can go back into Slowbro, live another hit, and stall out the Psychic Terrain. And then we can um, go on a manage him, fake out and revenge him when the psychic terrain ends. I just have to decide. Actually, if I protect here, I can live the next psychic. He might predict that actually as he rock polishes. That doesn't matter to me. Like what I was going to say is I should have just scalded there because it was obvious that I was going to protect. So he was going to predict that most likely. But yeah, I can still decide what I want to sack here. Um, I think I want to sack my Slowbro, honestly, yeah. Actually, I lived this hit. What am I saying? What am I saying? Sag! Hello, I lived this. It's the devil and Slowbro came in clutch. It was this Mew. Yeah, this game was a bit longer. Because um, it's super late, I probably still misplayed, but I don't want to misplay like every turn, so I had to like run some code. I still am um, annoyed how I misplayed versus that. Um, annoyed how I misplayed versus that. <coughs> Crunch. I'm annoyed how I misplayed versus that boy. Um, what's his name? That Victini? I don't. Don't ask me why I didn't Darkseid that Victini. I wanted to save my Darkseid. I was greedy. 
<laughs> the earlier game, but this is fine. Um, just go Medicham and click Ice Punch, I think. Yeah. Um, we take some ch sand chip. He goes. He can't even go to anything. I guess Clef if it's healthy. Yeah, Clef can come out. But he goes Lando instead and sex it, which is a really bad play. Classic ladder. Um, I said I wanted to keep this around 30 or 40 minutes, but this guy took forever, so I'm gonna give you guys another game after this and make this longer. Um, <clears throat> this is actually quite bad for me. Um, I think. Yeah, Drill is still my play, and Earthquake is free. Just wanna bring this in range from Zen Headbutt for Medicham, and then I should be fine, and this guarantees. This basically ensures that he doesn't get rocks up. And Hydreigon can always come out on the Ferrothorn. Uh, even though Leech Sheet is annoying. <clears throat> ah, nice dodge. Let me let me hit you with that Dark Z. And if you go Clef, um, Dark Z in the Flash can might actually kill him because he's fit F. Oh, that eats. But that Ferrothorn too fat, good god. Because now he can go on a Clef. Like, why is he saying careful? What? Oh, his Ferrothorn is careful. You can go on a cleft here. I really want a flash can. Um, okay, yeah. I f that eats. Moomst. <laughs> this is so bad for me because now he can go cleft. My head dragon is low. But I still think this is com. Well, I wanted. Yeah, I wanted to flash there. I knew he would do that. I already flexed on him earlier, so. I didn't want to risk it too much. Um, this is getting a bit. This is getting too dangerous. I misplayed that, I think. Did I misplay it? I don't even know if Excadrill lives a flamethrower. I have to weaken this with Earthquake. And he sacks Ferrothorn. Um, spinning that would have been cool. But yeah, now he's pretty much screwed. Yeah, that was still fine. I weakened the Ferrothorn. Into Earthquake range. I don't know why he sacked that just to come back into this. Basically, I just need chip on the cleft. Don't burn me, dude. Oh my god! <laughs> no! Why did you have to do this to me? Oh, you're so funny, yeah. It's fine because, is it fine? I can lose now. I can lose now. Um, I still think I have it, but basically what I have to do is flash can this bad boy. Another play I could make. If pretty much now I have to rely on hitting. Never mind. This game is done. Of power here. I was gonna say, now I have to rely on hitting and headbutts. Well, I still might have to... No, my Celestia Leader is out of range of Flamethrower, I think. As, as long as I'm out of range of Flamethrower. But yeah, Flash can... Into Zen Headbutt. Well, let me call... God, why did I have to make it... I'm pretty sure I could have made it less close by different plays. Um, but I'm... Yeah. Not sure. Flamethrower, right? Yeah, Flamethrower doesn't kill me. So what he has to do is he has to... He has to crit my Silas Dealer, and if he crits my Silas Dealer, he also has to dodge his headbutt afterwards. So he needs a lot of hacks in his favor to win this game. And if he recovers, there's just three leftovers recovery that I take to the bank. If he flamethrower burns me, I'm throwing my computer out with that nasty bug that I have in my room that I can't see anymore. <laughs> but yeah, GG, my guy. <clears throat> One last game. Okay, we got uh, a raccoon here, so I assume it's Sticky Web. With the clown, I hate facing the clown. Uh, actually, we got Hydreigon for the clown. Ooh, fire. Dude, Hydreigon like, checks mons that are popping up. Hydreigon is the mon. Like, I'm pretty sure you guys have seen Blunder use Hydreigon. Kick as I used Hydreigon as well. To qualify for old team, my man Seal did a live with that team. So if you want to check that out, um, I might leave a link in the description if I feel nice. Um, let me run a calc. So let's say Medicham versus Arachronid, right? 
fake out into Zen doesn't kill. Actually, it's a roll. And I'm feeling lucky, so let's go for it. Oh, he leads with the clown. Free as high dragon here. Uh, he could double into... <clears throat> he doesn't have a great double for this. He could double into Kyurem. But he doesn't know... Like, if he doesn't know my team, he doesn't know my set. So, like, he... Oh my god, that boy says spectacles? I don't, I don't know, but I'm roosting here. He goes into this. Um... If he's all out pummeling, that would be really bad for me, but otherwise, yeah, I'm not gonna risk him being... Actually, I'm clicking flash, can forget this. This might be a really bad play. This reminds me of the ulti series I recorded earlier, um, what's it called? Okay, that didn't work out. That was also Budo versus Hydreigon, but why is this showing up? Not for you guys, but for me it was showing up at the bottom of the screen. Um. Pretty sure this eats my Dark Sea with ease because it's a, a Raccoonet. That boy has this boy has great spadev. I mean I'm not even max spatak, but I'm just gonna count max spatak because I'm too lazy to edit the spread. Um, how much does Leech Life do? If Leech Life does too much, I'm not staying in. <clears throat> like I don't even know if they run that. I don't think they run that. Yeah, I don't think they run that. Um Dude, how much does 66. I think he has grassy terrain. So if I get two low rolls, this Arachnid can live. <clears throat> My Z move is cool to keep, so. I just go Hydreigon. He clicks Lunge. That was random. He gets. Uh, actually, no, what? Why did I. Oh, he got an attack drop. That's how Lunge works, I guess. Uh, we couldn't knock off here if we live a liquidation, but I want to calc that. Like, I'm not taking any risks today, um... Well, I played, made some uh, plays that were kind of risky, but... Um, I'm not trying to throw my shit out, is what I'm trying to say. Liquidation doesn't kill. Shoutouts to my bulk investment. Ah, uh, Hurricane doesn't kill either. Um... Oh my god, I was just gonna say I don't want to click Hurricane because I know it's gonna miss. And I clicked it anyway. I should have clicked U knock off to get rid of the leftovers to chip this boy. This is dangerous, man. Just go slow, bro, and show him. Um, just go back in a torn here. Get that Rocky Hammer. Well, a Rocky Hammer doesn't really matter because he has leftovers and stuff. Lunch and you turn back out just to get that health. Uh, I don't think lunch would do much to slow, bro, because it's a slow, bro. I don't even. I can't even touch this because. Cause I'm, um, he can't be burned, right? He's a, he's a spider. He can't be burned. Uh, that's his ability, I think. Dude, don't kill me. Cool, don't crit me. Or whatever. <laughs> I don't know why I got so shook randomly. But yeah, what was I gonna say? Um, just protect here. <clears throat> what was I trying to say? This boy kind of looks like the nasty buck that I saw in my room earlier, but he looks different. Like, he looks different, nasty. <laughs> My guy was like more green, he didn't have the blue. And he had like he had like some sort of wings, like ah dude I don't know how to describe him. It wasn't wings, it was a different type of term. Um I think I just slack off here. If he liquidation defense drops me, I'm gonna get mad. <clears throat> I mean this is fine, I have a spinner and defogger, I will get rid of the web later in the game. This the Devon Slowbro can come into play um for like taking what's it called? I forgot the name. Ice Beam is neutral versus him, I think. No, it's not, it's resisted. I don't even know, does it resist? I think Ice is new I think Ice is neutral versus bug, right? So he resisted. Uh, so basically what I'm trying to say is this is absolutely gonna bounce off him. It's gonna do zero. No, but yeah, the Spadevon Slowbro can... Oh my god, he's this sad. But he doesn't have Sleep Talk, so my Torn is free here. And he also doesn't have the Trapping Set. There's a Trapping Set with Spiderweb or whatever the move is called that traps you in. And then a PP stalls my Slowbro if he had that. I would have been mad, dude. Well, I don't know. Did I even play this optimal? I should have maybe scouted for that Trapper Set. Uh. 
Dude, why are people taking so long? I mean, I was calking too and taking my time, but here's literally nothing to think about. You can stay in because you don't lose anything. You just burn a sleep turn. You can also put a double here. Um, into what? I guess he doesn't really have a good switch. He could go in the Alakazam here. Yeah. He could go in the Alakazam here. Because Alakazam um, can take anything what my Slipper wants to do. He doesn't know my last move yet. It could be toxic and even then if he stays regular form toxic doesn't matter at all so I like is the play for him or stay in I think because <clears throat> he doesn't want to risk Kyurem or Bulu getting burned and obviously he doesn't want to go to the other two months and get molested by Skull <laughs> okay so this video is gonna reach one hour because people like to take their sweet ass time on the ladder let me type test to see if I disconnected I did not disconnect this guy is just ah let me stall out this guy's time it's a longer video for you guys. I mean, as long as you don't mind this guy taking his time, I'm fine with it. Um, I mean, Blunder has like way more games in his life than I have. My, like, I don't know why that is. Like, sometimes I play slower, but it's also that I use teams that take longer. And sometimes I play in a way that makes the game longer, I guess. But it's also because my opponents like to take forever sometimes. And I also took my time some turns. Especially after I messed up that... <coughs> Especially after I messed up that turn with not going for Darkseed Sea versus the Victini, I'm, I don't want to like mess up. Um, so this guy might just time out, I guess. Um, in that case, I thank you guys for watching. I will um, let you test out the team yourself. Um, link in the description, and have a fantastic day. This is not a game to end it off. I'm gonna get another one. Forget this. Forget this. Like I said, I. Uh, I said I wanted to make this video shorter, but that was no game, like, hello? <laughs> okay, so we got the team that Pokeam used in his... in his Roto Top 10. I don't remember all the sets, I just know it's Scarf Lando, Ashgren, Z-Tren. Actually, I remember most of the sets, but not everything. Pinsir is a menace, but we can do, we can deal. Oh, let me be scum and look up all this guy's sets. Don't use, um, Poke... Poke aim teams or like teams that are used on YouTube versus me, you're gonna get crushed. Trust me on that one. Um, I remembered everything, I just wanted to look at the trend, and this tells me that my Slowbo wall is the heat trend, which is what I wanted to know basically. So I think my um, Tornadoes is actually amazing here as a lead, and um, I can freely U turn. If he Rock Slide flinches me, okay, I'm gonna call it if Rock Slide crit kills just to make sure. So this guy's Landris has. Um, 76 in attack only, so it's more of a bulky Scarf Landers. I'm not the biggest fan of that set at the moment. I like those max attack Landers. Um, he has Rock Slide. Versus my Tornado's custom spread that doesn't kill even if he crits me. So I will just U-turn for momentum as he hurts himself with the helmet. And I get free as momentum here. What is he gonna go to? Heatran or Tapu Fini? Off. I don't know, he doesn't have good counterplay. Tornadoes actually destroys him with the combination of Slowbro walling his Heatran. Um, I also have a High Dragon to deal with this. Um, but I didn't... Yeah, High Dragon cannot switch into Steel Z, but High Dragon can come out on this and click off power. Um, the thing is, do I want to make that play? I can do that play and then he's gonna go into Finny most likely. Do I care about Finny coming out? I have like so many ways to win this game. <laughs> and I can. Ooh, I have a Medicham right here. Ooh, I'm smelling a Medicham. But I don't want to miss. So <laughs> That's why I didn't click him first. Okay, let's just let's just go for it. We're not missing today. Um we already missed three, right? So I don't even know why it took so long to send Medicham out. This guy has no counters. This is gonna do like half. Uh, I mean 40, 40, 40, not half. My bad. 47. So Zen Headbutt pro might kill. He's a max speed Tapu Fini. Uh, he's not. Yeah, I mean, max HP. Is, this is correct. I don't know why it says defensive in the calc when it's literally max speed Fini. Uh, Zen might Headbutt is a roll in my favor that I'm not willing to risk. Actually, it's like a mid roll. Yeah, I'm not risking that. So High Dragon is free here. Goes in the Ferrothorn. So this is Rocks. Does this have gyro ball? Dude, I'm scum. I'm just gonna look every... Does have gyro ball. Okay, okay. 
That means I have to be a little bit more careful. <laughs> Actually, I can knock off. And then I can U-turn. Yeah, this is fine with me. And I just go on an x drill here, which... Um, do I spin or do I get my rocks? I think I get my rocks up for the pincer. I don't need them, but they're good to have. And now I just rapid spin. I don't know why he went for leech sheep, because I can spin seeds away. He can power me and beat me down. But we got some fizz dev on this drill. Um, that sucks for him, but... Um... What we're gonna do now is... Like, I really wanna hard manage him on this bad boy. <laughs> but it's like not- it's like not worth it. Cause he could- he could Jarable like on these turns and... Jarable would hurt the manage him. So what I'm gonna do instead is go into High Dragon. And just Dark Pulse. Like, the reason I'm Dark Pulsing is, um... What was I gonna say? Like, I know he has a Finny in the back. Oh, why was Heater in the counter? Hello, buddy. Why was Heater in the counter? Um, I think I just Dark Pulse because I want to bluff being choice locked. Like, he can go on the top of Finny here, but that's just chip on Finny. Uh, chip on Finny means... More kills for Medicham. Medicham literally um, collects one versus D3. Well, I guess he can go hard land on a high jump kick, but like, that's a one. That's like his play, he can only make one, so who cares? And I got pivots for his team. Uh, yeah, rocks are like kind of annoying, but it do not matter to me. They're not that bad. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. The sequence um, going X count on Feral, you can say that wasn't the optimal play because I let my X get weakened. Like, if he didn't, if he hit the power, my X would have gotten weakened. So I probably could have just gone Hydreigon in the first place. Because it can... Um, I mean, yeah, it can get Leech Seeded. So I guess it doesn't really break the Pharaoh that well. But I just don't want to go hard into um, Medi. And I also don't want to keep my Tornin on Gyro Ball. Getting destroyed by that and missing Hurricanes. If I had Heatwave Tornin, it would be a different story. <clears throat> yeah, now we can go into this bad boy. If he defox for me, there's a free as U-turn here. If he stays in, I have a slow bro. Um, with protect and re regen to completely not care about him having nature's madness. So he goes for scald, um, trying to burn my tone, I guess. Oh, he has leftovers. This is, I thought I knocked him off. Oh, no, no, I predicted him to switch, which is why I U turned. Yeah, I'm gonna keep U turning. Like, I don't think, I don't think he should be staying in, but he does. Like, he should switch and keep his leftovers. But he wants to he wants to make the bad play, then let him make the bad play. I'm gonna go turn and knock his lefties. Okay, buddy. <laughs> Doesn't matter. No, the hex does not matter. Like the power whip hex mattered, yes. The power whip miss sucked. But nature's madness doesn't matter at all. I got double regenerator plus leftovers and protect slow bro. Never this Finny never is a, never does anything versus me. Now we're gonna try to burn this bad boy. Um Yeah, let's try once. He does the same and he gets it. That's completely fine. You can have some hacks, I got enough hacks. Um reason I wanna go Tawny is because he might go feral. Oh just taunts, give me a U-turn. Because I already know I miss Hurricane, so I have no reason to go for it. And yeah, I can just pivot. Obviously, the burn is annoying because I can't protect and get lefties back. But it literally doesn't matter. Like, look at this. Beautiful. Slack of here. If he doesn't taunt, I get back to... Um, good mount. Moonblast doesn't even have Moonblast. I was gonna say, Moonblast doesn't kill me if he has it. If he does that, we just slack. Now we go taunt on the taunt. Get Slobo back to full with regen. It does... Madness again, which is completely fine. It do not matter, dude. It do not matter. <laughs> Why do I talk like that? Back in the torn on the potential taunt. Even if he does not taunt, it do not matter to me. <laughs> I'm going insane. Um, yeah, I'm scum for looking up his sets. No, not really. It's fine with me. Not my fault that he uses a team that is used on 
that is linked on for uh, on Ames video. He does taunt me there. Doesn't matter to me. Doesn't matter at all. Now we can cane and kill him. And Pinsa cannot win because we have <clears throat> Celestia at full in the back, chilling in the back. We have a high dragon that beats his Greninja. Um, unfortunately, it didn't come into play that I made this. I made this specific spread to switch into Hydro Pump after Rocks. Why did that do more than I thought it was? Isn't that a? Oh no, it does 41. So if he had, if I had Rocks, I would have been at 43 now, right? No, what? Rocks does 12, right? I can't think, dude. I'm tired. Uh, 47. Yeah, yeah. So he yeah, exactly it would not have twit killed me even if he had rocks up. Hydro Pump only has 8 PP. So as long as no crits, this is the this is the Goat Ash Ninja check. Um, yeah. So he's gonna have to switch here into like Pharaoh or Pinsir or whatever. Because Pinsir might just hit him with the Dark Sea. Um, no, I'm just gonna go Celis if he goes Pinsir. No reason not to go Celis. If he goes Landris, I could U-turn. Uh, I could Roost on the U-turn. Can also go Celis, which like beats his entire team at this point. Besides Gren, I guess. No, he also beats Gren. Yeah, let's just let's just. Like I could Roost and stay in with Dragon, but if he like crits me, that could be annoying. No reason to let my dragon get chipped, because uh, I'm not trying to lose to the Ash Ninja. But yeah, if I did not know this guy's team, I usually try to keep my Tornadoes and my Slow Rebels healthy if I don't know the uh, the guy's Greninja set, because you can usually go Torn to scout what the Greninja set is. Um, he's trying to knock off my... He doesn't have knockoff. So I can literally destroy him right here. Crit doesn't matter, it's a tweak no matter what. Well, I guess it annoys him a bit. So I assume he's gonna go Gren. Mm. I want to predict the Greninja here. It goes Lando. Okay. This gives me a free as Torn. Like I could have, I wanted to double there, the either Hydra or Torn or something. I should have doubled into Torn because Torn covered everything. Rock Slide does zero damage. Um, what could he double to that would punish me here? Honestly, nothing. But Celis is still free here. Salas is free as is a free as leech seed. And if he wants to go Ferrothorn, I get leftovers and then I flame through on next turn. Yeah. But yeah, um he's going for the flinches now and he gets it. Okay, okay, I gotta stop with fucking around. <laughs> Actually no, I stand by this play. Like you can say I could have played that different, but pretty sure this guarantees the win anyway, unless Even if my Salas gets flinched down, which if he flinches me again, I would have switched out eventually. Um, I can just double leech seed here on the Greninja. I didn't know he would go Greninja, but I just wanted to double leech seed because if he stayed in, he did no damage to me. If he switched out, I got more health back. And this being healthy just means that he cannot win. And now I just click some buttons here. Um, let me protect. Uh, I could have double seeded, but it actually doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. But yeah, one hour and three minutes live, but like so little games, because these guys like to take their time. Also, I'm stalling out the pump PP. And another thing with protect on this and protect on Slowbro is... You like, um... What's it called? That's obviously annoying for him, but like I said, as long as he doesn't creep me, that doesn't matter. And he just forfeits. I thank you guys for watching. I forgot what I wanted to say, but yeah, I have double protect. Scout with Greninja goes for Tornadoes max HP, um, also defense investment can usually deal with it. And yeah, like I said, at least two or three of these spreads are gonna be wrong. Like the Celeste might be a bit different, the Hydrain I'm 100% I'm sure is different. The Slower I'm not sure, and the Excalibur is probably also a bit more speed death than I have in Fizz death. And the Torn, I don't know if he has that much defense investment, he might have the 56 EVs that I have in defense in speed or in special attack. I like them in defense, they can help take like physical hits with helmet, it's like cool. Checking Kartana a bit better. Having double Kartana checks really cool. Um, overall, I love this team, but I haven't used it enough to say how good it is. I mean, it definitely has weaknesses like Volcarona. If that get played as Volk different, I might have just lost. And yeah, it's, I also didn't play Optimal in some games, but overall, it was a really fun live. And yeah, I will let you guys vote on Twitter what team uh, you want me to use in the next live again. Um, it will be four teams. Well, probably some teams that my man Eric made that he used in World Cup and then something else. I don't know what I will add to that list. Maybe something I built as well. 
I built some nasty team the other day. It's not it's not stall at all, right? Um, it's like DNC Coco, DNC Coco Heatron Tornadus, Landris, and you can guess the last one in the comments. It's some Regenerator Mon that I like. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys for watching. I feel like I could ramble on for like five more hours, and I kind of want to keep playing, but it's not the move. No one wants to watch like a super long video, right? And I'm also like I also want to like um, keep recording the ulti playoff games and if I like record too many videos like lives on top of that I'm gonna be burned out so lives are not gonna come that often the kind of lives are gonna come maybe once a week mm, depending on how I feel sometimes I might do two a week sometimes I might do one a week sometimes I might only do one live every 12 days or something like that if I if I'm not feeling it at all and there's gonna be so many ulti series at the weekend that I'm gonna focus on obviously there's still another ulti series um, that I recorded earlier, Hive with Edge Ketchum Gamer. I missed most of the first game. I started recording from turn 80, and I got the re rest of the series live though, so you guys can expect that. I'm not sure when. Probably tomorrow or the day after. Probably tomorrow, yeah. So, peace out. Um, smash the like button. And yeah, I'll let you vote on Twitter what team I will use in the next video. I re I'm repeating myself at this point. That buck gave me some... This buck is gonna give me nightmares. Unfortunately, he ran away now, so I was gonna, like, take a picture of this guy and show him to you, but nope. Man, ran away. Yeah, goodbye, friends.